I gotta be honest, I'm a Zion Williamson fan. I followed the guy from high school till he made it on the NBA. Zion has this likable aura for a very big guy and this Jordan 1 Low Zion collab focuses on the voodoo design which honors his team tradition, the New Orleans. Hey boss, Ben here, Pinoy Manshaft. Hope you guys are all doing great. And I'm super excited today because I have here one of my grails for 2022, the Jordan 1 Low Voodoo Zion Williamson collaboration. The Voodoo comes in a flax, muslin, fauna, brown, oil green, sesame, and moon fossil colorway. The colorway itself is based on the newly released Jordan Zion 2 sneakers. This retro low OG has a mismatched multicolor panel on each sneaker, utilizing premium suede leathers and earthy tones. You know, growing up as a poor kid in Philippines, this shoe actually reminds me of my first sneakers which became like a Frankenstein due to the repair patches and stitches. And to be honest, some folks even consider this as a Halloween shoe that is full of crazy details like the backward mini swoosh found on the mud guard, upside down Nike Air branding on the tongue, upside down Jordan Wings logo on the upper heel, and some hidden custom brandings which can be revealed if you flip the back hill tabs, including custom skull designs. Unfortunately, nothing special on the box, which kind of ruins the unboxing experience. It came only with this normal Jordan 1 Low OG block box. But I really like the suede fine leathers that they used on the base panels that extends on the toe box, including the tongue, linings, and paddings. The rest are a mix of patchwork, hemp, and canvas-like materials like the heels, eye stays, and mud guards. Take note of the carton support inside, custom insoles, mismatched color of inner linings, and also an extra rope laces. The off-white midsole contrasted by the gum rubber outsoles completes the overall voodoo look which is for me pretty impressive. Let's talk about the sizing of this one. The shoe feels a bit snug out of the box if you want to compare it to the regular or the general released Jordan 1 Low OG due to its thicker paddings. Nevertheless, I'm still wearing true to size on this one and I like pairing it with my go-to olive pants which perfectly harmonize the shoe earthy tones for a relaxed vibe. You can't go wrong also with some navy joggers and khaki pants for a more casual sporty look. Right now, I would consider this as a very underhyped shoes considering the premium build of this one but I would expect the value of the shoe would go high especially during Halloween season and in my opinion this is definitely a keeper. Overall this is a very well made unique shoes which in my opinion also a good alternative to the overpriced Travis Scott Jordan 1 lows. I hope you guys like this video and if you do please check my other contents as well and I will see you soon. Peace.